Good morning. I'm just having uh, my morning read. Um, this week's book is The Mastery of Love by uh, Don Miguel Ruiz. Um, it's very interesting because I, I actually got to the chapter um, that refers to the, the perfect relationship. And uh, what I love about this is that he actually speaks about something that's very close to, to my heart and what I speak about a lot. In my videos, if, if you've been, been following me for a while and with my clients, is that we all seem to want to have this, this perfect relationship with someone else. We want this person to be a certain way. We have aspirations of a person to be like this, and I want the person to be like that. And what inevitably happens is that when we meet someone, we have all of these great ideas and stories, and we go through this love journey. And what inevitably happens over time is people change, or that person is not the way you thought they would be. They were a little bit different. They're not, they're not the, the person that you were or thought they were or originally thought they were. Maybe they were wearing a mask. Maybe you were wearing a mask. Maybe you're just trying to fit into this formula of the perfect partner for that perfect relationship. And the, the reality is that the perfect relationship doesn't exist. How can you expect to have a perfect relationship if you are not perfect? And the reality is that we, don't, we should not be striving to be perfect. We are whole as we, as we are right now. There are wounds, certainly. There are times in which we, we are not always happy, which is completely normal. But what happens is that we look for that outside of ourselves and we look for our partner to make us perfect. We want them to be that last missing piece of the puzzle so that we feel whole and we feel complete. And the reality is that that person can never do that. So what happens is we build, um, we build expectations. It's like having a relationship with, with a pet. If, if uh, you come home and you're, you're, he mentions in this, in this book, is, is you come home to your dog and your dog loves you unconditionally, accepts you whether you're in a good mood, whether you're in a bad mood, and it doesn't absorb your emotions. So what happens is when we come home to our partner, um, maybe right now or in the past, or you, we come home to our partner or you come home to your partner, there is this absorption and expectation that if you're having a bad day, the other person is to hold you and try to make you happy. Yes, they can hold space for you, but they're ultimately not responsible. And when they don't respond to you, then what we do is we become um, upset and we become bitter. And over time we say, well, this, this person is not the person I was, I was expecting. I expected this and I expected that. But the reality is, is that person is also going through their own journey. But it's interesting because it's, we always think about what we want in a partner, but oftentimes we don't even know what we really want, what we really value, what is really important to us. So we start dating someone and we start getting together with somebody and we create this, this notion of the perfect relationship. And sometimes we're not honest and we're not open and they're not honest and they're not open. And there's no conscious communication of what our, or what the relationship, um, what the relationship wants to create from the both of you. And then you can create that individually as two separate people. Expecting someone to um, make you happy or make you joyous, which I think is the same word, <laughs> but expect someone to really fill that gap and be the other, the other piece of the puzzle is a fallacy. It's you complete me is a fallacy. Um, happily ever after can happen, but the happily ever after comes with you, not to the expectation of another person. We want to be whole. We want to be complete show up to the relationship powerfully, knowing exactly what we want, what we love, consciously open, completely naked and raw, give ourselves fully. And if that person doesn't, then it's our responsibility to choose differently and walk away. So that's my thought this morning. I recommend the book. I appreciate your time as always, and uh, we'll see you the next time.